Welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back. We're here with a super simple pantry pasta sauce recipe. The easiest from scratch red sauce you'll ever make. I'm satisfied with life. I don't I just get by. I cry. What a miracle to be up and alive. I'm getting started with some butcher box. I've been a fan of that for a long time, way before I was cooking on video. Great way to get quality meats for a discount price. I'll put a link below. Now I am using sweet Italian pork sausage. You can use a turkey version, a chicken. You can use fake meat if that's what you like. Again, you can customize this recipe. I will say this, I would not use beef because by using the sweet Italian sausage, you're getting really like a flavor bomb from your protein that adds to the sauce and really takes away from you having to layer a lot of ingredients in. So be mindful of that when you're building the sauce. If you use something that's already flavored, you're going to get a lot of that flavor infused into your sauce. I am grounding one pound of sweet Italian sausage here. And you just want to cook it thoroughly. And then once it's pretty much almost done I'm adding a half an onion and a half of bell pepper you can use a green a red a yellow whatever bell pepper that you prefer again this is customizable because I'm using sweet Italian sausage I like to use a sweet bell pepper I think the flavors pair very well if you want to make this more of a sausage and pepper sauce you can use whole sausages and you can also cut your peppers and onions in more of a fajita style if that's what you prefer as well. I am now going to add three cloves of garlic. I use a garlic press that way I don't have to mince them and it comes out really fine. Please don't use garlic. It does not have a strong enough taste and it will just really fade away in this recipe. It'd be better to replace that with garlic powder if you don't have fresh garlic on hand or paste or even the frozen cubes that I like to use a lot of time. Now I'm going in with about one and a half to two tablespoons of tomato paste. And then you just want to saute, mix it well until it's incorporated. I kind of took it up a little bit and some of that residual grease in the pan. Now the butcher box sausage is not very greasy so I didn't have to drain anything but if you do use something like beef or anything else or your brand is a little bit more greasy please do drain it before you start adding your vegetables and of course the tomato sausage. Next we're going to add some better than bouillon Italian herb seasoning. It is great. Again this is a pantry pasta sauce, a red sauce. Um, so we're not using anything fresh. So to compensate for that, we're going to use a little bit of this Bevin Bouillon Italian herb to really give it some great depth of flavor. Now I always keep crushed tomatoes in my pantry and this is really the star of the show. This is a versatile ingredient and definitely if it's something that you don't currently keep in your pantry. I'm sure after learning this recipe, it's something that you'll start to keep on hand. Next, we're gonna add some sweetness. I use this monk fruit sweetener, zero calorie, and it's something I just enjoy. It tastes just like sugar for me. You can use regular sugar or you can skip this. I think that when you use anything that's a, a tomato, that especially when it's tin, like a canned tomato, it needs that sweetness. So again, you see me taste it. And, and I'm going to adjust it a little bit. I'm going to add some dry Italian seasoning. The Better Than Bouillon does have salt. So that's why I'm going to switch over to that. And I also want to use the Chicken Bouillon. Chicken Bouillon is a great, um, Chicken Bouillon powder is a great ingredient because it kind of gives you that umami, some depth of flavor. So if it's just missing a little something, you're not sure. But it is salty. So do use it. Um, but use it sparingly and keep in mind about the salt. Next, I'm going to go in with some onion powder. I didn't need the garlic powder because I used the three cloves of fresh garlic. So if you don't use fresh garlic, then you know you might want to use a, some garlic powder in here. 
I would start with one teaspoon of all the seasonings. I really cook a lot, so I don't really measure. But a teaspoon is a great place to start, and then you can add and taste it. Again, I keep tasting it. Um, and then you see me going there with a little bit more Italian seasoning. But I'm going to keep tasting it as I layer on the flavors just to make sure that my salt is in check and where I want to be. And lastly, I'm going to add some pepper. Now, I don't worry about getting the perfect taste early in the recipe because we're going to let it simmer and the flavors come together in the sauce. And although we're going to have some editing magic, you're not going to see that. You're going to let it go for about 10 minutes so everything can come together. And then you'll really do your final taste adjustment. That's it for this pasta sauce recipe. Now I'm going to do something that's a little controversial. I'm going to add my noodles straight to the pasta sauce. Now, if you want to speed this recipe up, I could have cooked this on the side and it been done after and you know again this is simmered for a while you can't see that but it's simmered for about 10 minutes before I added the pasta um, to the, the pan. Now I could have cooked that on the side and it been done and I just added it and mixed it in. If you don't like to mix yours in you could just top it whatever you're into. You can also use whatever type of pasta that you enjoy or you have in your pantry. This is what I had in my pantry so. Um, but I didn't want to get another dish dirty. I didn't want to get another pot dirty and I had time. I wasn't in a rush. Um, so this is the super lazy way to do it. I add, I add the pasta that I want in there. Um, then I add two cups of water and then I just let it cook down. Now there's some pros and cons to this method. Um, I'll start with the cons. The con is it takes longer because I could have just had another pot going and been done. And when the sauce was done, the pasta would have been done. The other con is really a personal preference thing. Um, by cooking your pasta in the sauce, um, you're going to release starch into your, your sauce. It would give you a thicker sauce. And you'll see I have to end up adding another cup of water to complete the pasta for it to be cooked. And this was a thicker pasta as well. Um, but you're going to put more starch into your pasta, so you're going to have a thicker consistency. If you don't prefer that mouthfeel of that extra starch, then by all means, cook your pasta separate. Rinse off, you know, the starchy water. Go that way. I like that mouthfeel. That's a personal preference of mine. So I don't mind cooking it in the same pot. And then oftentimes I'll add some starchy water from my finished noodles to give it a bit of thickness to my sauce. Um, so this is something you can play around with if you want to do it again. It does take longer to do it this way because my pasta could have been done um, and been going while my sauce was simmering and coming together. That is a personal choice. So now we're at the end, we can talk about customization. Um, I used the pasta that was in my pantry and I always keep some kind of pasta in my pantry. Use what you have or what you prefer. Now I am adding some ricotta. I find that ricotta in a red sauce cuts indigestion if you have that, a heartburn or whatever. And I like the creamy consistency and I had ricotta in my refrigerator that I need to use. It was left over from another recipe so I decided to add that. You don't have to do that. You can just keep it a plain red sauce or you can add waste in like a, a soft uh, spreadable uh, cheese you know the garlic and herb or you know whatever flavor that you have or you prefer you can add that you can also add cream cheese if you want to add a little creaminess or heavy whipping cream just a splash to add creaminess as well again this is a pantry pasta sauce so I really just use what I had on hand um, I have Mexican blend cheese that I'm gonna add here you don't have to add cheese if you're not a cheese lover I like cheese and I had the Mexican blend because I always buy Mexican blend cheese. Um, I like the, the melting of it. I like the taste of it. This does not have any taco seasoning or anything on it. It's just telling me Mexican cheese. But again, that's what I had in my refrigerator. So this is really about utility. This is a very versatile uh, sauce, but you now know how to make a pasta sauce from scratch. And you can kind of spin it whatever way you want to and add it whatever thing you know whatever you prefer now you know I have to add some shake cheese if you know you know and I'm gonna give it a taste 
It was wonderful. It was simple. It's lazy. And now you know. So I hope you enjoy and I hope you try it soon. Thank you. Happy holidays to everyone and a very prosperous 2024.